What's up everybody, Product Probes back at you with another knife review and today we're looking at a spring assisted dual karambit knife. This thing is actually pretty cool so let's dive into it and let's see what this thing's got. Okay so we changed our lighting up right here. We have a window and then our normal artificial light. So I hope this looks good but we're going to try it out. So what I want to do is go ahead and give you some details of these blades and then we'll come back and we'll look at the pocket clip and things like that. So right off the bat, you've got two triggers right here. Let me show you a close up on it real quick. So as you can see, this is a beefy looking knife, rather large, but you have your dual thumb studs on each side. I guess you would call that a quad thumb stud. Your triggers are right up here. You've got a nice railing right here, a non-lethal railing, nice red. And then just your normal colors. You know, they have the single karambit, you know, the single blade karambit knife with the finger hole in the back that actually matches this exact thing. Now, to open it, I mean, you can definitely just one trigger, one trigger this way, but I was getting it, there it goes, to where you can open both of them at the same time. It's actually a pretty good grip for my hands right here. I can fit all four and still use these jimpings at the top to really get good control in a defensive stance. Let me show y'all right down here. So right here, as you can see the groove cut out on them. It's really nice right here. You got your two liner locks, one blade closes, and then you can close the other one just like that. Simple. Let's see if we can open them up with the dual thumb studs. Yeah, flip it. Hmm, that one seemed to be a little bit tougher, but still trying to break it in a little bit but there you go i mean the thumb studs actually work on it really well show this right down here the jimpings on them that they have are really cut out well let's get that trigger out bam right here but they've also incorporated them into the blade right there so even if i'm just using a single blade i can use that or choke up a little bit and use you know the choil is not super large so be careful because, well, I probably wouldn't even do it. But if your fingers are a little bit larger, you might want to go ahead and choke up to the jimpings that are on the blade. But for me, right here, well, I guess I could do either one. And you get better control of your knife. Now, one thing about these Hawkbill blades right here is you're going to have, let me show you all right down here, half serration, half straight on one side, and then an all straight on the other. And when I first looked at this, I didn't know if I liked that aspect of it. But the more that I'm playing with it, I think it makes sense to have that half serration, half straight, and then an all straight over here. So I guess if you needed to just use a single blade on it, you've got it. So get out, cut rope. If you didn't need that, cutting open boxes, bam, pull your straight blade out, do what you got to do there. So what I want to do, see if I can open it again. Bam, getting better is go check out this blade, and then we'll come back and talk about the pocket clip, but wow. You know, with the paper tests we do, they're a little bit harder to catch with these Hawkbill blades, but right there, this blade seems pretty sharp, just right out of the box. So let's go ahead and let's check these blades out. All right, let's test the sharpness out on both these blades real quick. So right here with the all straight blade. Now with these Hawkbills, never mind. That actually caught pretty good. I was going to say you have trouble catching with these hawk bills, but that one actually did really well. Let's try the half serration right here. So not as much room to work with, but still you get it down in there. These things are super sharp. You know, that was actually pretty surprising. These blades being as sharp as they were, especially this straight blade. You know, with a lot of times that hawk bill will catch and you're like, well, but once you get in, this thing was like, so this is actually sharper, in my opinion, than the actual single uh, karambit knife like this. But let's go ahead, let's look at this pocket clip and see what this thing's all about and show you a close up on it. So, right here, one thing I do like about it is that it does sit super high. So, if you're going to be looking at it, I'm trying to get it in the camera, but I guess it would be like this in your pocket. It's actually going to sit pretty high right there. So, that is a good thing. You have an all aluminum handle right there with your stainless steel platings. This is actually metal railing up here. It's not plastic, which is good. 
and then right here give you maybe just a little bit better look on the handle it does feel a little bit heavier which is a given probably for a knife like this super bulky but let's go ahead let's see this thing real quick and it doesn't seem to be too beefy it does have a small divot right down there in the bottom but let's go see what this thing looks like in the pocket now this is a larger knife so the fact they do even have a belt clip on it or a pocket clip rather it is kind of fascinating so since they got it we're gonna give it a shot Let's slide this thing right here so as you can see it sits here push down I do like that it actually goes down I mean you do have a little bit of knife but think about how large this knife is I mean you have this whole thing going down in your pocket so they did a pretty good job actually I'll just say they did a really good job on the belt clip because it is super high now given right here you are gonna have that poking out but 99% of the knife is actually in your pocket right here the concealed side with that deeper pocket clip you're definitely gonna have a great concealed side to it the only downside to the concealment of it is gonna be that print because as y'all can see you know it's definitely printing right here but it's not as bad as you think it would be it slides out fine and you can go ahead and get your one trigger there flip it take care of your other one and you're good to go okay so not bad at all in the pocket the only thing is that it does feel a little bit heavy and it is thick however it sits down in your pocket rather nice so if for some reason you're looking for a tactical knife you know dual ceramic to everyday carry it can get the job done so one thing that it was like i said it was super thick in the pocket it's gonna be a good bit of print and it felt a little heavy however i mean if you look at the knife like right here this thing is thick i mean it's a thick knife so the weight's probably gonna be a given on it that it is gonna weigh a good bit so while we're on it let's go ahead well let's see how long this thing yeah let's get the measurements of this knife and let's also check out the weight all right let's get the weight on this thing wow okay so it is a little bit heavier than i thought i thought it might would be in the sixes but yeah let's go ahead and get the measurements on it real quick flip it this way might see it a little better let's open it on up let's go ahead and get the blade blade is a little bit under two and a half inches Now that one is two and a half. Maybe I was measuring this thing around. Let's measure it like this. Yeah. Your serration blade is just going to be an eighth of an inch shorter than your fully straight. That's odd. Well, I guess it depends on how you hold it. But either way, you're looking at about a two and a half inch blade right there fully open let's see what we're going to be looking at from tip to tip nine inches and then let's close this thing up let's see what it is closed so fully closed sitting in your pocket you're going to be looking at six inches so nine inches overall six inches closed pretty beefy little pocket knife right here now that was odd that this blade was actually just a just a hair longer than your serration blade right here but still it was a little bit heavier than I thought but I assumed that it was going to be a heavier knife but guys this is actually not a bad knife it's pretty sharp right out of the box if there was a way that you could get it with a serration blade seems like it's sticking on me all right maybe if they had just a single button or a single switch where you could pop both of them out at the same time, that would be really neat. But for less than $10, this dual ceramic knife might be the way to go. Let me give you one last little close-up on it right here. So guys, again, just a really cool, boom, look at that. I'm getting the hang of it now. Dual ceramic knife by Attack Force. This was the TF669, and I'll leave a link in the description below. If y'all want to go check it out. But guys, now I'm getting the hang of it. It is a pretty fun knife. So 
that this review helped you. If you're thinking about getting it, let me know in the comment section below. We are doing some giveaways on Instagram, at least until they stop, you know, they make it stop doing it. We also have a Friday night knife giveaway where we give knives away every single Friday. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description to that as well. And guys, hope the review helped, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you.